we're about four days into our home ed journey for this term. We kind of school all year round, but we do mark the start of things, especially seasons. So yeah, we're about four days in and I feel like I have seen the exact same, I want to say failures, but I know I shouldn't, <laughs> struggles um, in those four days that I have with home ed that I have for the last four years. And I thought I would share about them because everyone's sharing all their wonderful things that they're doing and that is great and we've had a wonderful week as well we've had some new groups we've had the not back to school picnic we've had some lovely times reading together and so on so it's been okay but the struggles are still there and the first one i know i've said this before but i really struggle with consistency and i used to think that consistency meant you know that we were doing maths at the same time each day that we left the house at the same time each day and my firstborn really liked that type of routine like naps were always the same bedtime was like on the dot the exact same time i could predict exactly when he would wake up and so our days were fairly structured but I still could never manage that consistency in terms of the things that I hope to achieve for home ed because we do like to have a bit of structure we're kind of semi-structured in the morning on school is in the afternoon so um I I get that it's not that I consistency is if I have to do like maths between 8.30 and 8.45 every single day but I still would like to kind of visit intentionally the same things most days. Like I would love to look back on my week and say, okay, I aim to do five intentional maths activities with my kids. And even if they weren't all the same, even if some of them were just um, like in kind of daily life, I'd love to be able to like tick that off, like literally tick it off, but also mentally think, yeah, we've done that. And I don't feel like we're at that now. And I don't know if I've achieved it fully ever in the last four years. And I don't think consistency is like all it's cracked up to me. I know that sometimes compassion trumps that and we make changes in our day because of what other people need and what we might need. I get that. But man, I really, really struggle with consistency. And I don't know whether I need to change my mindset or I need to change my routine or what, but yeah, consistency. I really, really wish I could be someone who describes like a home ed day and it's true of most of the days in the week. The second thing, and this will come as no surprise to anyone who's watched any of my videos, is like housework. And it is a home ed thing because it's because of home ed that we have a certain amount of things in our house and it's because of home ed that we're in and using our house so much that we are having most of our meals at home that i have the kids with me constantly and that we're kind of in and out to lots of different places and yeah even just like the clothes and the laundry the fact that they'll get so muddy when we're out and so there's like more clothes that are used so it, it is directly related to home ed but i really struggle with keeping even remotely on top of housework while i home ed i know it's not that i find it easy if they were in school i would still find it difficult to do but i would at least have the space and time to do it and there'd be less of it to do but yeah, I struggle with that. And this week, we went away last week on a holiday. And before we went, I got the house all clean and tidy. Like we cleaned out the fridge and, you know, everything is like, I just wanted to come home to it to be lovely and clean so that we could start off fresh. And I managed to get it all lovely and clean and came back. And it was, it's just, right now it feels like, it's already overwhelming and we've only been back 
um, not even a full week yet. <sighs> yeah, I am struggling with that. And before anyone tells me about particular methods to follow, I have tried them all. And yeah, I, this is again, is this something that we just have to get used to as home educators? Is this just how it's going to be? Because it's, I, I don't think I can um, physically manage putting up with it for the next 15 years. <sighs> yeah, housework, massive struggle for me with home ed. For the third thing, I actually asked my husband and I was hoping he would like, he wouldn't be able to think of anything like, I don't know, Rachel, what you struggle with. You manage so perfectly. I would never think there was anything you struggled with. That's what I hoped the answer would be. But he was very quick to say some things. And the first thing he said, and it's true, is that I struggle with being overly ambitious. And I will plan all the things. I will aim for all the things. I'll commit to all the things. I'll very enthusiastic about all the th things and I'm not able to do it and so this is kind of um, ups and downs of yeah I can do all the things wow I'm overwhelmed from doing all the things so I'm not doing anything and then like back and forth and I have learned a little bit over the years so one success this week is I've restarted a little group that we had before the holidays and I'm keeping it really, really low maintenance in terms of how much I plan. And if you'd have come to my groups before, say, COVID, and then come to them now, you would see a massive difference of how um, prepared and how much time I put into getting things set up and getting all the activities done and so much time put into it. And then now, like not at all in comparison and it's so much better and so yeah the over ambitiousness <laughs> over ambition with that that is curbed but it's still there in a lot of things like I set our rhythm for the week at the beginning of the week like I sat down and I planned like um, you know, we'll have this rhythm that we'll go through and we'll do this and this and we'll try again back to the consistency. We'll try and do that every day. And I thought I was giving myself like white space within all of that. But still, with a lot of things in my life, I'm overly ambitious. And then I hit a wall of like, ah, I can't do this. So, yeah, four days in, all of those struggles are present. And... I can still say that and know that I've made the best decision ever to home ed and that we're having a brilliant time doing it. But oof, it is, it is hard sometimes. So I would love to know, to make myself feel better, <laughs> what your struggles might be, if any of those resonate with you and if you found anything that has helped you. And that, that question, is it my mindset that has to change about what consistency is, what the house is gonna look like? Um, what I should be aiming for in terms of plans and so on. Is it just my mindset or are there some practical things that I should change? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But anyway, do press the like button because then we'll know if you like this and we can make more. And I hope you have a great home ed week.